for one, I would like to say that a lot of people have a lot of misconceptions about sex toys. Um, number one, just from the history of it, you know, um, you know, a lot of people think that sex toys is just dropped out of the air for women to use, but um, you know, it's a multi-billion dollar industry. So, you know, it's not, and it's not just women that's buying them. You know, you got couples that's buying them. You got different, um, you know, people that's, you know, regardless if you're, you know, heterosexual, or homosexual or trans or whatever, everybody's buying sex toys. So it's not just women that's buying them. We're going to talk about that. Um, not to mention the fact that, you know, me being a gadget freak, I'm, you know, if you know, if you come a freak from a freaky nature, <laughs> you know, it's not just about just, you know, being single and just trying to get a gadget. You know, people buy gadgets for themselves. They buy, you know, buy toys for their spouses. Um, it's a lot of different reasons why people buy toys. Um, even back in the day, you know, historically, when toys first came out, um, you know, centuries ago, they were actually made, you know, and they, it was a medical device for women, you know, women that were uh, either hysterical, not, I think it treated hyster hysterical women, um, but, you know, it was a way to be able to calm women down that had anxiety. 